have been having an ongoing problem with mice, and I'm so sick of mice. They're not in the cabin, but they've been getting into my car, which you can imagine is horrible. And they've also been on the back porch where we feed the dog. seeing a video by the boss of the swamp um, on his channel and he used a bucket method uh, to catch mice and so I am going to build one of those today out of just some stuff we have laying around here and hopefully that will help um, with our mouse population and getting that under control. So I found a Hansen's can, some of this uh, fencing wire, I don't really know what it is, um, a drill bit and of course a drill and then I have peanut butter and some sunflower seeds. So I'm gonna go ahead and make up a bucket trap and we'll see if this works very well. I kind of learned from watching the video from the boss of the swamp is that you want your can to be kind of down in there that way they can't come up to the edge and just kind of lick on it um, so however I don't want to screw holes in the bottom of or in the sides of this bucket um, because it's a new bucket and I don't want to like make it so it's not usable for something else in the future so I'm actually just going to kind of put this down around there, kind of um, bend the wire so that it'll kind of just go around the sides of the bucket and then down in there. Um, and hopefully that will work. And then of course I'll anchor the wire on the outside of the bucket to kind of keep it a little more stable. Um, but I think that's what I'm going to do that just because I don't want to actually put holes in the bucket so in the bucket itself so I'm gonna go ahead and get this on there and then I will show you one sign got my can with my peanut butter and my sunflower seeds um, one thing I did do was I made sure that the bend of the wire was right here it's kind of hard to see on camera but I made sure it came down and bent here and then was more flat across and then another bend right here and then it comes up on the side here so um, that way the, the bottle there's not a bend like right here where the can is I know that's a really fantastic sound Anyway, there's not a bend right where the can is, which will allow the can to spin a little more freely. So um, I'm going to go ahead and fill this with water, and we are going to put this on the back deck where we feed the dogs. What is Linus? enough. I know I don't want to go through the refrigerator, but... Hi, buddy! <laughs> That's what happens when your dog is tall enough to see into windows and over the deck. Get in there, you old booger. up a little bit on this side, but I don't think that would really matter. What do you think of that? Should work, right? I think that any self-respecting mice that loves peanut butter and sunflower <laughs> seeds would be all over this. What if you catch a rat, though? 
I will poop my pants if I catch a rat. <laughs> you <Pickle> again. <laughs> Basically like, yeah, um, I'm still over here. Okay, I'm going to leave it right here for now because we put the dogs out here to eat. So I'm going to wait until after we feed the dogs because otherwise Banks will jump in here and he will have fun eating this entire can's worth of peanut butter and sunflower seeds. We will check on it in the morning and see if we have any mice. And um, Robert bought trail cans, so we're actually going to try out the trail cans too and see if we get any mice action on the trail cans. crazy you can build a better mousetrap there's four dead mice in that bucket that is nuts good job baby thank you hold on let me get a light so you can actually see it's kind of hard to see in here yeah. One, two, three, four. Gross. man that is nasty but uh, that worked really well i hate mice i know we really hate them Anything that can wipe out most of the world with the bubonic plague. Yeah, I'm not down with. Yeah, disgusting. We're gonna get rid of them all!